Happy March 1st to you. This is Devotionables, Brief Devotions for Busy People. I'm Brandon Pisacrita, and I'm one of the discipleship interns here at Ninth and O. When I was a little boy, I grew up at the end of our neighborhood, and we lived in the cul-de-sac. Now, what that meant for us is that on Saturdays, our friends would all meet up with us at the cul-de-sac. We called it affectionately the circle. And we would play games like kickball and baseball. We had all of our bases and everything set up just fine. They would come and we would sit up and make teams. And oftentimes I was chosen last. Now I know you're sitting there thinking, that guy looks like he's got just awesome athletic prowess. However, I was usually chosen last and maybe out of my nativity, I didn't think about that. Well. In our devotionable today, I want you to look at Mark chapter 3, verses 13 through 19. This is where Jesus chooses his team. And so it says, And he went up on the mountain and called to him those whom he desired, and they came to him. And he appointed twelve, whom he also named apostles, so that they might be with him and he might send them out to preach and have authority to cast out demons. He appointed the twelve, Simon, who, uh, to whom he gave the name Peter, James, the son of Zebedee, and John, the brother of James, to whom he gave the name uh, Boanagres, that is, sons of thunder, Andrew, and Philip, and Bartholomew, and Matthew, and Thomas, and James the sons of Alphaeus and Thaddeus and Simon the Zealot and Judas Iscariot who betrayed him. Jesus' philosophy of ministry focused on discipleship. And so in verse 13 he tells us that he called uh, those whom he desired and they came to him. They left everything to follow him. In verse 14 uh, we're told that uh, that there will be with him. Uh, and so that was this day-to-day -day living life with Jesus. So in these moments, they, Jesus was able to privately teach them uh, all the things that he wanted them to know. In verse 15, we see that he gives authority to cast out demons. And then in verse 16, we see our list of disciples and apostles. They're ordinary men. They're rough around the edges. I identify with that. Two things set them apart. One is their heart for God. Two, their willingness to follow Jesus. They left everything. They believed Him. These guys were transformed by their time with Jesus. And so it is with us. Discipleship is so important. We need each other on this journey. And so think about these two things. Thank God for those who have poured into you, into your life by showing you Christ, by their life and by their example. And two, a question. Who are you helping to become uh, more like Christ? Who is it that you are helping to grow into the likeness of Christ? I hope you have a great day. Blessings and joy.